Have you ever wondered if a pill could enhance your creativity? The concept isn't as far-fetched as it sounds. In the 60s, nootropics were born, originally designed to treat cognitive disorders and boost brain function. From this humble beginning, nootropics have evolved into something much more than a treatment for disorders. What if we told you that these substances could potentially unlock your brain's full creative potential? Nootropics are believed to perform an intricate ballet within our minds. By increasing the supply of neurochemicals, augmenting the oxygen flow or stimulating nerve growth, these cognitive enhancers could potentially amplify functions like memory, creativity and motivation. The dance between these substances and our brain's intricacies is complex yet fascinating. The potential for enhanced creativity and artistic expression through nootropics is a tantalizing prospect. Imagine the power to tap into unexplored depths of creativity, all from a pill. This is the promise that has drawn many in the creative industry towards nootropics. Anecdotes abound of artists and innovators who claim these cognitive enhancers have amplified their idea generation and problem-solving abilities. Studies are beginning to support these claims suggesting a possible connection between nootropics and enhanced creativity. The link between nootropics and enhanced creativity, while still under investigation, is an exciting development in the creative industry. But with great power comes great responsibility, right? Indeed, nootropics raise serious ethical questions. Is creativity fueled by these substances genuinely authentic? Is it fair to those relying on raw talent? And what about potential health risks? The ethical implications of nootropics are as complex as the substances themselves. So, can a pill truly enhance creativity? In this journey, we've traversed the landscapes of brain function, creative processes, artistic expression, and ethics. The potential of nootropics is intriguing, yet fraught with complexities. Perhaps the answer lies not in the pill itself, but in how we choose to use it.